Hey guys, I'm here with Amy and Charles from Digested Doc. Can you guys introduce our audience with what is your company doing and what car, what brings you here to Nashville to R&G Works 2023? We really model ourselves after a doctor's office for the industry. There would be somebody there, they would intake, ask questions, maybe order a few tests, some basic sampling that maybe need, needing to get done. And the whole point is so that the doctor can come in, look over the information that's available, say, hey, this is what's going on, this is what I'm seeing, here's where I'm a bit concerned, and this is what you should do in order to be happy, healthy, and productive. We also work with all phases of digestion from uh, feasibility, so we can work with feedstocks, we can judge about how efficient they are, how much energy they can produce. And then we also work with active digesters. We diagnose issues and we make things more efficient. We work to just get the most energy out of the product that we can. What is the most common problem patients come with? <laughs> Mineral deficiencies. That is probably the biggest one, is just not taking their vitamins. It comes from the feedstock, just naturally not having it. One good example is dairy manure. So the cow has already digested, you know, partially digested all the material. They've already scraped all of those minerals out. So when it comes out and it's gonna go into a digester, it's missing that. So our job is to understand what it is, what it's doing, what it should be doing, and how to get it. How, how would you get these samples from these people if say you are based where? We're in Boise, based? Idaho. Right. And all they have to do, they can take their samples, ship it to us overnight, we will do the testing. So nothing to this uh, digestate, which is in that thing, nothing gonna happen to it within the 24 hours. Everything there gonna be still good for you to take analysis and- As long as you keep it cool. As keep, long as you keep it cool. Keep it cool, so cool and secure that lid. <laughs> um, but our chain of custody does have shipping instructions on it and they're pretty easy to follow. How long is Digested Dock in the market? So we got started in 2012. So we've been at mm -hmm. it for 11 years now. Where do you see America's market heading to in regards to renewable energy? I would say that from, from my understanding, there are currently more projects in development than there are in operation. I think that even as projects are being built, there are going to continue to be more in development than there are in operation. Where do you see your company in the next five years? Well, we're a support company, so the larger the industry is, the better it is for us. We are talking about a European branch. We're talking about another branch in Canada. We can pretty much get samples from anywhere, next day mail. Mm -hmm. And as long as it's getting to us within 24 hours, it's not going to contaminate mm -hmm. or affect the samples too mm -hmm. much. We have a few issues trying to cross customs from time to time. The custom agents get a little bit weird when people are sending buckets of poop across the border. <laughs> so that's where I've said, like, we're talking about opening another lab in, in the Canadian area, and then of mm -hmm. course another one over in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest thing is more um, what we're looking to do is expand the size of the lab, but not necessarily the location as far as being in Boise, Idaho. How many, if you if, if you guess how many sites will be built in the next five years in the States? About 250 next year, 300 the year after that, 350 the year after that. So that is the size of the growth that we're looking at. And so you're going to be always looking forward to expand your business and be connected with all of these sites to be able to help them on their biological processes. Yes, and as new issues arise, we're going to tackle those. We're going to research them, see how we can help people to reduce problems or increase you know, any benefits that they're seeing. Is there any big challenges you face in the market right now? Misperception. One of the ones that I hear time and time again is that dairy manure is all the same. Manure couldn't be more different from itself. Even in mm -hmm. farms that are less than a mile away from each other, there are differences. And mm -hmm. if you're not correcting for those differences, you're missing out on energy. What is the one thing you would change in the market? I think that, honestly, there needs to be more lab testing. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I bring up uh, in several conversations with people is the mistake of relying on known industry averages. It is a practice that I have seen, especially in engineering groups, where they try to rely on textbook answers and they will go, mm -hmm you know, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars into engineering on a site only to find out when they finally order that lab test that the, the feedstock that they're working with isn't following the average. And mm -hmm. now they have to go back and rework all of the, the, the development that they've done for the site because they tried to save a few hundred dollars on some lab tests. I would also say understanding that digestion is a biological process. Everybody thinks it's just put the thing in the digester and it comes out, but there's a lot that happens inside that digester. All the different microbial populations, the different quality of the feedstock. And so understanding that you're, you're dealing with a 
living organism really yeah. and that it does take care and it's not yeah it's not just about like the textbook says this it's everything is different every every person is different and every digester is different